From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Industrial products and adhesives manufacturer Prattley has launched a new internationally certified corrosion-resistant flameproof compression cable gland that boasts a number of world firsts. Natasha Odendahl tells us more. Prattley has unveiled its new fully IEC certified corrosion-resistant Enviro compression gland that is able to withstand any environmental condition and can be installed without special tools or requirements. Prattley CEO Kim Prattley speaks to Engineering News about this new product. A cable gland is a product which attaches a cable to an apparatus and its primary requirements are to make sure that the cable doesn't pull out. There are secondary requirements on some cable glands, in particular ones for hazardous locations. This particular one has been certified by the International Electrotechnical Commission as being completely compliant with the IEC specification for flame proof, which is a very, very stringent specification, and EXE, increased safety, and dusts. What is unique about this is that it is a engineering plastic encapsulated brass component, which can comply with the very stringent requirements of the flame-proof specification. Now, there are no other cable glands that we know of in the world that are corrosion resistant and can comply fully. Tested extensively at Prattley's in-house laboratory, it has become the first to be certified without special conditions of use of attachments to its installation, such as special spanners or external clamps. The cable gland can also be used in almost any environment, from locations in underground fiery mines and XD flameproof environments through to the coldest and hottest climates on the planet, the gland has been certified for temperatures from minus 20 degrees to 95 degrees. It has also been certified to a whopping 350 meters of pressure, waterhead pressure, so it will seal to that. It's the only one in the world that can do that. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.